yeah, I finally got it. I've been, you know, fighting and training for over 11 years now, and it's been my goal to, to fight and compete and win in the UFC, and I finally got the, the W. Yeah, I did get quite a bit of feedback. Um, you know, at first I kind of just wanted to pop the balloon and toss the candy. Um, you didn't appreciate it, right? Yeah, not really. And I ended up giving it to the ring girls, right. and I. Which was smooth. Yeah, and I apologized to my wife afterwards, <laughs> <laughs> but she understood. <laughs> no, no. Why did you appreciate it? It's just a, I don't know, a silly little antic to, I think, get in another fighter's head, but it's. I'm here to fight and, and perform. He seemed genuinely surprised that he lost off the look of his face. And it seemed like he said something to you afterwards. A, do you think he should be surprised? I mean, do you think he has a case? And B, what did he say to you afterwards? No, he definitely shouldn't be surprised. I think the first round was really close. I cut him. You know, he caught me with a couple little kicks. Um, didn't do any real damage. I, th I think I won all the rounds. I didn't. I didn't perform like I wanted to. Obviously, I want to finish him. Uh, I finished most of my fights. Uh, he surprised me with his takedown defense, and he, um, you know, he mentioned that I was a tough mother effer after the fight. And you know, good job and congrats and real respectful. This is my battle stash. <laughs> Uh, my last three fights, I've, okay. I've not, put not, it together. Not, not in World Series, you played Just once. Yeah. Good. Talk about yeah, my wife doesn't like it so much, but I, I think it's because I get a lot of attention from other Ladies. women. Yeah, you Ladies. know, they're Ladies. attracted to that look. And then and then the mullet's, you know, appealing. You shave it after the fight? Yeah. <laughs> my wife hates it. <laughs> she doesn't like it. <laughs> no. Praying, man. I I needed to win, you know, two losses in a row in the UFC. Um, it's not good. I'm, I was fighting for my job, and you know he was doing the same thing. I lost my my debut against Evan Dunham a few months ago, and I I needed this. I needed the win no matter what. Didn't win like I wanted to, but I got the W, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. Other things in the fight that you were happy about performance wise? Yeah, right off the bat, I, I cut him. I was, I was pretty happy with that, and you know, I smelled the blood, and I, I really wanted to get in there, and um, he caught me with a couple good counter shots, and I was just maybe playing a little too safe. What was the game plan for him coming in? For him, I, I just wanted to get in there and attack, just be vicious, um, stay sharp. Well, now you got the, you got the win. I mean, I know it's probably too early to start asking, like, who's next? You know, but what is next? Where you get to Spend time with the family, shave the stash, you know, yeah. have a little fun, get back in there. But what's the next plans, and is there a person that makes sense for you? Yeah, shave the stash, uh, spend some time with my wife. I haven't seen her much. Um, you know, I don't, I don't work any other jobs aside from training for, for fighting and, you know, for the UFC. Um, but maybe, maybe another mid-tier guy, and then I, I would love to resign and, and then start, you know, knocking into the top 20, top 10 10 fighters in my, my featherweight division. Not doing another job, is that what adds the extra pressure to, to get those wins? Yeah, definitely. I was, I was fighting for my job tonight. You, you, can't, you can't win or you can't lose, you know, back-to-back -back in, in the UFC. You, you got to win. You got to perform.